In this session, I'll demonstrate how to use transitions in a PowerPoint presentation. If we go here to the Transitions tab, notice that there are, by default, none of the slides will have any animation or transition. It's on the slide level and not necessarily on the component level of the actual slide. So, for example, if we go and play this presentation, notice it will look like this. Notice there are no animations. Now, we can go here to the transitions, and let's say for the second slide, you can apply any of those transitions here. By default, it's none. but You can do the morph transition, and I'll have a separate video for this. The fade transition, the push or swipe and uh, reveal and cut and so on. Notice there is also a drop down and uh, you can apply sounds. However, I would suggest that with any of those transitions, they have to have a purpose. You don't want to apply it to every slide and annoy the audience with all the various transitions. You need to make it appealing and capture their attention to what you are trying to sell. And here is how you apply transitions to a particular slide. So you go and select the slide and then click on the particular type of transition that you want to apply to it. If I go to the next one, I can go and change this so that it applies the split transition. And the third one, and so on. Now, if I go ahead and present this presentation, and we are going to advance the slides. Notice the transition of this first slide. Now, notice also the transition of the second slide. It will be from the center. And the third slide there. These are subtle transitions, but they are at the slide level. If you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and then click on the bell icon.